I'm Abby Stokes, the author of Is This Thing On? A Friendly Guide to Everything Digital for Newbies, Technophobes, and the Kicking and Screaming. And in Chapter 12, Getting to Know You, I promised that I would put together a video for you about taming Apple's mouse. So here is Apple's magic mouse. And part of the reason why it's magic is it's wireless, which is entirely lovely. If you take a peek at the good old fashioned mouse that you might be used to, one, you know why they called it a mouse, and two, it has the feature of where you would left click, where you would right click, and then it has this scrolling feature in the center. Magic Mouse is a much leaner, cleaner thing now. Um, what I, the first thing I want to point out to you is for some people they get confused about which is the top and which is the bottom of the mouse because there's no tail to follow. At the bottom of the Apple Magic Mouse is Apple's logo. That's the bottom of the mouse, so you want to be sure you position it properly. Um, as I go through these step-by-step -step instructions for you, I don't want you to feel overwhelmed that you need to remember what they are. So below this video on my website is a link that says click here for printable instructions. And if you click on that, you'll be able to see step-by-step -step instructions about how to use the mouse as well as step-by-step -step instructions about how to deactivate all of the features that Apple put into their Magic Mouse. Just because the design is there doesn't mean it suits everybody who's using it. If you suffer from arthritis or Parkinson's or, or what I refer to as an over-clicker, all of these features on the Magic Mouse actually may be proving problematic for you, so you can always deactivate them. But let's walk through the different features. The very first feature is you're probably used to clicking on a mouse in the upper left hand corner. The fact is you can single click anywhere on this mouse. The entire mouse is basically an active left click which is why it can prove problematic. Um, the other feature that's lovely in here is the scrolling feature. Instead of that scrolling device that you saw on the other mouse, basically as you flick your finger up or pull your finger down, you'll scroll up and down on the page. You can even scroll in a circle. So that's really a lovely design, again, if you can control it properly. The other thing that you can do is zoom to enlarge what you're looking at. If you hold down the control button on the, on the keyboard while you move the mouse up or down this way with your finger, then you'll be able to zoom in or out of the text that you're looking at. Um, there's also a feature if you take two fingers and you flick them right or you flick them left, you can actually turn the pages like you would turn them in a book. So it's a great design, but it may not be a great design for you. So definitely look at the instructions below if you want to deactivate those features and use it like a basic mouse. Please don't hesitate to email me with any questions or any suggestions of other videos that you might want. I'm only a click away.